r slash today I fricked up. Defiant laugh 924 says. Today I fricked up be being too lazy to walk to the bathroom. Obligatory this, frick up happened didn't happen today, but a few weeks ago I 19 male, live in a dorm building, that has communal bathrooms that everyone in the building uses. FYI I don't have a room at. Anyway, a month or so ago, had to go to the bathroom, but I didn't feel like walking to the bathroom, because not only was the bathroom kinda gross, I didn't want to leave my room to walk to it. Instead, I found an empty bottle, and peed in it. Over the next few days, I peed in more bottles and there was a collection of like 4 pee bottles on the desk in my room. When I ran out of bottles, I poured them out in the trash, and started over, and this pattern kept continuing. Anyway, a few weeks later, I was studying with this girl 19 female, in a lounge in her dorm building, and we were hitting it off pretty well. I've never really had like any romantic or sexual experience with women before, because I'm usually pretty awkward, and not that attractive, but I was getting a pretty strong vibe, that she was into. Me so when we were done studying I suggestively asked, if we could go somewhere private, and she was down, so we walked up to her room. She realized her roommate was asleep, when we went in there, so she asked to come over to my place, especially since I didn't have a roommate. I was about to say yes but then remembered that there were bottles of pee sitting on my desk, and realized I couldn't get rid of them with her there, so I made up some dumb excuse about me being tired, and said no but maybe later. She was super bummed and asked a few more times, but I insisted, that I was tired, and over the next few days we couldn't hang that much, and now we don't talk much anymore. Too long. Didn't read, I was too lazy to go to my dorm's communal bathroom to pee, so I peed in bottles in my room. One day this girl I was hanging out with wanted to come over, but I had to say no, because of the bottles, and I lost an opportunity to potentially hook up with someone for the first. Imnast I says. I hope this is a wake up call. 6 non and 6 says. I stopped seeing a FWB, because he did this, not wanting to wait for his roommate to free the washrooms. Op, just don't. Neefjl says. I found out my freshman year roommate was peeing in a solo cup every morning, and dumping it out the window. He kept the cup on the windowsill. What the, frick, is wrong with people? Nuclear underscore sister says. You empty the bottles into the trash instead of a toilet? Sunflower Bizach, C says. Since they only have communal toilets, that would mean he'd have to carry pee bottles to the toilet in front of people to empty them edit. Still does not mean he should have poured it in the bin. 2 Sakapal 3 Samadas says. I don't get why he doesn't just throw away the bottles. His whole room must smell like this. MRB4 says. When I ran out of bottles, I poured them out in the trash, and started over, and this pattern kept continuing. In the trash. This Limbox says. It's like the dude doesn't have a window in his room or something slash s. X underscore clusive 69 says. So this man lost sex with a girl, that wanted to ride him cause he was too lazy to do something 7 billions people do at least 2 times a day wake up boy. Papor Act says. I know you included the at least, but still. Two times a day. Either you need to see a doctor or maybe I do. Snish00 says. Slash r slash hydra homies. Shady State says. Start by making the effort to shower and clean your space more regularly. Dirty Ol Sob says. This was a today I fricked up for op. But for the girl it was a shiafu, almost, frick, ed up. Sounds like she dodged a bullet. Gleninator says. Why share this with the internet? You nasty. 6 non and 6 says. I'm afraid he thinks it's funny or thought PPL might say me too. Sinatra94 says. Lol he says the bathrooms were kinda nasty, and then leaves pee bottles in his room. Not good Marwa says. 
TBF, I've noticed the beginning about the student dorm, and being too lazy to go to the bathroom, and was scared the dude was rocking a shit bucket. It wasn't really better though. Azilla Ted says. You, sir, are absolutely disgusting. Mrfavorable says. Are we all going to skim over the fact he poured his piss into a trash can? Frick I'm gross. The bathroom might be gross, but you're grosser. R slash today I fricked up. Passionate underscore lobster one says. Today I fricked up be accidentally sending a love letter to my boss instead of my crush. Today I royally screwed up, and I can't believe the level of embarrassment I've reached. This happened just a few hours ago, and I'm still cringing so hard, that I might implode. So, like any hopeless romantic, I decided to pour my heart out, and write a love letter to my crush. I spent hours crafting the perfect message, pouring my feelings onto the page like Shakespeare on steroids. When I was finally satisfied, I attached the document to an email, and prepared to hit send. Now, here's where the colossal mistake comes in. I also had my work ML open, and in my haste, I accidentally selected my boss's ML address instead of my crushes. Yep, you read that right my heartfelt profession of love was now on its way to the person who signs my paychecks. I realized my mistake a split second too late, but there was no turning. Back. The damage was done, and my heart sank into the pit of my stomach. I frantically searched for a way to recall the email, but alas, that's just a mythical option in the world of Microsoft Outlook. As if on cue, my boss replied almost immediately, and I could practically feel the awkwardness radiating from my computer screen. His response was simple, I believe this wasn't meant for me, followed by a cold, please be more careful in the future. Now, not only do I have to face my boss every day at work, but he's also fully aware of my hopeless romantic side. And as if the universe wanted to add insult to injury, my crush still hasn't received that love letter I poured my soul into. Too long, didn't read, accidentally sent a love letter meant for my crush to my boss instead, and now my professional life is as awkward as it. Josip2203 says. Tell the boss you do not like rejection. Enahilus says. Better yet, tell him it was actually meant for him to establish dominance. Lodidadi says. I sent titty pictures to my boss, because I was drunk and his name is Dan, while my fiance is Danny. I also sent one to my dad. I changed everyone's name in my address book after that. Gogadant9 says. Father, husband of my mother workplace supervisor betrothed to be married, are probably them on her phone contacts list now to be extra safe. Crafty says. It doesn't sound like you're going to be penalized for that, so good job, nothing really came of it, and you'll be okay. May I suggest, however, not using your work laptop for personal business, and not using your personal laptop for work in the future? That will help prevent similar incidents. Pinner Box Waiting says. Send it to your crush. Pretend the boss never saw it. Now. Deathwatch050 says. You can avoid this in future by setting up a delay on sending your emails. I have mine set to 30 seconds on my work email. Basically you have that much time after you hit send to undo it. It won't actually be sent until the time is up, so no risk of the other party seeing it, and then having it disappear, or whatever as might work with a recall, not that email recalling, has ever really worked. Anyway, it shouldn't work, because it's functionally no different from waiting that much time, before you hit send, but for some reason for a lot of people hitting, send kicks their brain into gear and they more carefully reread the thing that now, if left alone will wing its way into someone's actual inbox within the time chosen. Just a note though, if you use Gmail, and you hit view message after sending, for some reason it skips the delay, and sends it instantly. I haven't bothered to try, and find a fix for this, yet but it's something to be aware of. Wrong but underscore long but says.
The good news here is that you still have a chance with your crush as you have time to delete the love letter and talk to them like a normal person. If you write a giant letter talking about how in love you are to your crush without ever having been on a date with them, you're going to fail unless you're under 16 yo. Since this post reads like an adult, albeit an emotionally stunted one, you should drop the Shakespearean writing and go ask them out. If you're not at the point of even talking to them regularly and being comfortable in conversation, you're certainly not at the point of writing love letters. Otherwise underscore bat underscore 357 says. Don't worry about it just make a light hearted joke of it and carry on as normal. R slash today I fricked up. Alyssa 93 says. Today I fricked up be lifting something heavy when I had an ovarian cyst. Happened yesterday. So I have severe endometriosis and grow very large ovarian cysts. For the past couple months I have had an ovarian cyst that I was waiting for surgery to get removed along with my entire ovary. The cyst was about the size of a grapefruit at last ultrasound. My doctor had advised me not to lift anything too heavy or do anything too strenuous as it would increase the risk of it rupturing. Last night I had something to carry from my car. It was about 10 pounds and I was too stubborn to wait for help and didn't think 10 pounds would be too heavy for me to handle. Well, I was wrong. I lifted the object from my car and immediately I felt severe, sharp pain. I knew the cyst ruptured or twisted on my ovary. I doubled over and immediately went into fight or flight mode. At that point, it seemed more logical to get in my car and drive to the hospital than to walk back inside and get my phone to call for help. So I drove myself to the hospital, wailing and crying the whole way. It was about a 25 minute drive. I parked my car and had no idea how I was going to walk all the way inside. But I was still in flight or fight mode and somehow managed to get inside. The last thing I remember was a nurse helping me into a wheelchair and I don't remember much after because I went into shock. Many tests and a blood transfusion later, I'm home from the hospital and doing better but still so sore. I have major anxiety just thinking about it and worrying about it happening again. It was hands down the most painful thing I ever experienced. Too long, didn't read, had a massive ovarian cyst. Was told not to lift anything heavy, but I didn't listen. Cyst ruptured and I was hospitalized for severe bleeding and treated for blood loss and an infection. Slow Sector 4104 says. Holy cow, I would probably have done the same as you, stubborn to the end. I hope you heal fast and don't have to experience that ever again. Chris Dall in a photo says. Oh no, I'm so sorry, I wouldn't have expected 10 pounds to be too heavy either. I hope you heal well and quickly. Kasichi says. Were you the only one home at the time? Also, from one stubborn ass to another, don't do this again, lol. I've had ovarian cysts rupture before and they are, frick, I'm brutal. I'm glad you are better now. Take care. Dancing Gloaming says. I had this happen, mine was 15.5 centimeters. My Ginny consultant said it's ranked as one of the worst pains a human can endure. I had to have surgery and lost my lefty. Hope you get it fixed to sap. I feel sorry for you. R4 Scal says. I had a doctor once tell me that ovaries didn't have pain receptors. So you were fine. This is a joke. You're a badass for getting yourself to hospital. Random Trun says. I still think a ruptured ovarian cyst was the worst pain I've ever been in my whole life. And I had to see sections after that. Fmlsley says. Had this happen, and they were wheeling me in, to take out my appendix, that they thought had ruptured. When someone had the idea oh maybe it could be an ovarian cyst instead. I still have my appendix, and I'm so glad for whoever recognized what was happening as I was literally writhing in the worst pain imaginable. Had two kids naturally, and the pain was less. 
redheaded underscore gremlin says. Glad everything worked out okay in the end, sending hugs. Selenum19 says. You are one bamf Han. definitely a today I fret up but you handled the fallout like a champion. Hope you feel better asap. Nervous underscore zebra1918 says. My ruptured ovarian cyst was the worst pain I have ever felt. I now have no ovaries. I'm sorry this happened to you. I wish you a speedy recovery. Cosmic Coffee 9 says. I have felt an ovarian cyst rupture and holy shit, you don't feel like you're going to survive the day. I'm pretty sure it's the same level as a gunshot wound right in the ovary. My old tall tall tact says. But they didn't remove the cyst. So you still have to go back for surgery? Drakini Chinesia says. If it makes you feel better it may have twisted regardless. I had an 8 cm cyst that tossed my ovary while I was sleeping at 25 weeks pregnant. I feel your pain, it's absolute hell. Vegan Berger Queen 69 says. Oh man I have endometriosis, and I'm just reading this with my eyes wide open lol. I'm so glad you're okay that's so scary. That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.